Unit 3 Welcome to Arts Weekly. Tonight on the programme, we have a review of last night's prom at the Royal Albert Hall, a review of Benedict Cumberbatch's latest movie, and an overview of all the books published this week. Tonight, my panellists are, as always, Tom Pulitin, Wendy Can't Cope, and Steve Martins. But first, an amazing story and interview with Gomez Gonzalez, who has come all the way from the Philippines to be interviewed in tonight's show. Welcome to London, Mr. Gonzalez, and to Radio 4. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Mr. Gonzalez, you have an amazing story to tell. Five years ago, what were you doing? Yes, indeed. I was working as a trash picker on Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain is the biggest rubbish dump in the Philippines. Yes, that's right. It's located outside Manila and contains two million tons of rubbish. That's a lot of rubbish. Yes, it is. In fact, the Philippine government takes rubbish from all over the region. For example, Japan sells their rubbish to the Philippines and most of that rubbish ends up in Smoky Mountain. It's called Smoky Mountain because some part of it is always burning slowly. So, what's a trash picker? A trash picker is someone who lives on the garbage dump, searching through the rubbish, looking for things they can save to sell or recycle, usually copper and other metals from old computers or TVs or fridges, stuff like that. I see. So you started working on Smoky Mountain about five years ago? Oh, no. Five years ago, I had already been working on the mountain for a number of years. My job was to help the trash pickers. I work for a charity. So, to help them, I decided to live among them and share their work and lives. Right. But you found something quite special. Yes, I did. One day, I was working on the mountain, and in the trash, I saw a violin neck, you know? The neck was sticking out from a pile of rubbish, but I could see that it was a complete violin. It was difficult to get the violin out from under the rubbish without damaging it, but I managed it. A violin? Yes. You know, people find all sorts of things on the mountain. It's not unusual to find things like that. But this violin was unusual. Yes, it was. It had no strings. So the first thing I did after I had cleaned it up was to take it to a shop and buy some strings for it. I wanted to play it, actually because I had taken violin classes in school, and it was a lovely violin. So what happened? Well, I took it to the music shop, and the shop owner, a friend of mine called Miguel, he took a look at the violin and turned quite pale. He asked me to leave it with him for a few days while he did some research on it. And what did he find? He found it was a Stradivarius, made in about 1718, the famous Karpilowski Stradivarius. It had been stolen in 1953 and missing ever since. That is truly amazing. You must have been extremely surprised. So what did you do? Under Philippine law, anything found on the rubbish dump belongs to the finder. So the violin was mine. I kept it for a few weeks and played it. Oh, they were very happy weeks indeed. Then I sold it at auction in New York. And how much did you get? The violin sold for $45 million. <laughs> so what did you do with the money? I donated it to the charity I work for. All of it? All of it. And now all the trash pickers on Smoky Mountain have gone. They have proper homes, jobs, they are getting medical attention, the kids are going to school, and everyone is happy.